our short time here in Zion had all led to this. This night, the White Lakes would fall, or we would fail. And even if we do, we still give Joshua's people a chance. For now, the White Legs will know that those that they seek to displace have teeth, have bite, and won't go down without a fight. All my self-doubt would need to be left at the door. This was the path to Graham's help. He is the mind of a legget, and I need to pick that mind for all of Vegas and hell, even the world beyond that. And so, more would fall so others could live. It's the job I never wanted, the responsibility I tried so hard to walk away from. But this wasteland, this world, all of its paths lead me back to making decisions, choices that affect the lives of many. I feel like my own choice is gone. What I want out of my life, I'm finally starting to accept their responsibility. Tonight, salt upon wounds will fall. And I'll be putting another chapter of Ulysses' past behind him. With speed and stealth, we move quietly across Zion like ghosts. Joshua knows where his target lays. To the southwest we travel, to the furthest point in this park. That is where we will find him. And that is where we will end this. If you're right, Graham, this is what we're looking for. I'm at your side. The river will lead us to them. One way in, one way out. And we do have more of them. Two, maybe three at most. Yeah, V, stay close. We'll narrow in, make sure there's no one else watching. Stay low. Yeah, just two by my count. I'll fire twice. If I miss, I'm gonna need you two to help out. Good talk. One, two. Another action. That's good. The scouts. The bullets are subsonic. The rounds are silent, Graham. It's the best chance we've got to remain undetected. Not to worry, though. Things tend to get messy. You'll still need that. Fine. If that's your style, I can adapt. It always gets messy. I think we can move a little faster. Or not. That works. I knew it felt like three. It's almost always three. You mean like even more? I'm good. Just, uh, a little caught off guard. Yeah. That's what we're after, right? Looks like we're gonna have to swim. It's the only way I know. Great. Maybe not. Naturally. Huh. 
This is it here. Three Marys? They've marked the place well. No one yet, but eyes towards the top. You'll launch a hell of an ambush from there. Yeah. Got no sight. Even so, I feel uneasy. If they've got explosives, now would be the time to use them. Maybe you could pray. That might help. The time for talk has passed. The Lord's work must be done. So far, so good. Nothing towards the east. Definitely the right place. Hey, that's someone up ahead. Don't look like white legs. Some of your people. Stay here. I appreciate that you're here to help. If any try to leave, don't let them. I've seen at least one. We've already lost others. More of those idols. numbers we're dealing with. They do have explosives after all. Could take it apart, but they're not even going to have a chance to see them. That's one down. Nothing ranged from what I can see. She's down. No support. Okay. Let's move around the far side. This spread out. I don't think they were expecting this. Or something so direct. They'll have other people looking for us elsewhere. I guess they're sticking with us then. Take what you need. Just don't go ahead of me. That's all I ask. Sorry. That's not going to happen. Got her. Close. Another lone gunner. The thing packs a punch. They would have heard it. That's okay. We just can't let them slip past us. I know we could be moving with more speed. 
Perhaps something still feels off. Show up. Got them. They're just coming at us one at a time. Expected. I don't know. Something more. The man that trained them. Ulysses. Know him well. Or at least part of me does. I think that's what we're looking for, but we're gonna have to go down. Let's back up. Don't jump. Take your time. Small injuries lead to bigger problems for us. They're not playing. Okay. Let's get down low again. Can't spot a soul. The water's getting deeper. Rifles up. Keep them out the water. As you like. Alright. Come on. There we go. Come on. This is taking too long. We can't let salt upon wounds escape. I'm going to find a way around. God willing, we will finish this together. Fine by me. Where'd you go? He took the others with them. Just me and you now. Let's go make trouble. The cave we saw? I think it's gonna be our end. Alright. Make sure your weapon's good. There they were ready for us. Rain wasn't so stubborn. I would be able to face this together. Oh. Either way, we are. Let's go. Here's a little stale. Let's just watch out for more traps. Graham's found another way in. He's gonna be loud, so let's stay quiet. Where are you? Where are you? <sighs> Just as I open my mouth. <clears throat> gonna need a second. <sighs> okay. Stimpak's doing work. Got another. be the only ones. Promise I'll try and stay more focused. We're clear behind. Just one way forward. Maybe not. Looks like two routes, maybe. This carries one up. Got a lot of footprints. Maybe some animals as well. I can see supplies up here.
Okay, dead end, but we'll see what they got. A cup. Just a cup. Okay, some ACP rounds. Check the crate. I have to crack it open though. Come on. There we go. There. One frag. Looks good. Rest of it's well expired. Wouldn't want to touch it. Dynamite that's gone bad. Okay, so the other way then. I'm gonna pick up the pace. Lower here. I don't want to walk into another ambush. Blocked off. Back over here. I think that's what we're looking for. There's a gap. Eyes on the hills. They'll be on us. Okay. The hell are you, Graham? It's damn quiet. Not exactly a fan. You know, maybe taking out some of those totems did actually help. Cause them to flee. Be the smart option. And they're not always gonna go for that. Okay. Tripwire up ahead. It could be close. Shotgun trap. Just see if I can stop it. Let's see. Should do it. We'll just leave that be though. No use for it. Yeah. I don't trust it. Pressure plate underneath all those twigs. It's going to be more around as well. I guess they figured we'd be injured by now. We'll not have enough of our own supplies. They thought wrong. Okay, we'll look ahead and see what we got going on. I think that's the rock fall. So we're on the other side of it. Got discarded stoves, cookers. It's the end of the line. Don't like the idea of us climbing down there. Let's head back where we came. There was another path. We can go further down the stream. Eyes out for Joshua though. We don't want... We don't want crossfire. And eyes out for more traps. They may have expected us to turn back round. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. I don't see any more piled rock. I'd have a hard time shifting it down. All right. 
into the water again. We might be able to get out on the other side. Those ovens, they could go boom. Let's give them space. surrendering. Okay. Eyes out for more of them. Well, that's that. If they're here, it means that Graham is as well. Set it off just in case. Or not. It's not active. Or at least not right now. It's just a toaster. Got a tent on pie. Yeah, quite a few. Alright. Let's head back down. Hey, with you. here first before we carry on. Salt might be anywhere. And I think we'll know when we've found them. All clear. Let's move on to the rest of the camp. There were far more people here. And judging by the sleeping quarters and the roots they got down. Yeah, they're breaking. Alright. Watch their footing. Stay up high as long as we can. It gives us... It takes away what little advantage they have.
keeps on going. Falling rocks. Okay. Expect the worst then. Damn it. I'm gonna have to drop down. Let's try and find a good point. I mean, anywhere is gonna be bad. Backtracking ain't gonna help. We'll slide down here. Just take it slow. There's a ledge not far down. Yeah. Okay. Mm. You're right. Okay. after. Suggest you do the same. You never know when this is going to go into a full firefight. You got a bear trap. Maybe something else. Sounds like it's still working. Skin. Then again, I don't know how much that's going to help us. It doesn't seem like it goes far. Stay down here for now. Alright. Got another captive. Graham's people. Well, they're good at what they do. Uh. Shit. Missed that. You okay? Easy come, easy go. We've got more stems if you need them. Too close. All right. Let's not rush. Oh, it seems like they're fine. burning. It's not a clean way to execute. Alright. Seems like they've got it under control. It's mostly dead horses. Hey, friendly here. We're nearly done, V. We're nearly there. Okay. Going down again. Damn it. Oh. All right. Try and take it easier. Joshua. Okay. Starting to get lower. Keep it quiet as long as I can. It's served us so far.
Still a pretty good sight. Not seeing anything. Maybe some kind of trap up ahead, though. There's something submerged. If I'm right, I think I am. Graham shouldn't be too far ahead. We're reaching the end of the line. V, over here. We warned you at Syracuse, and you persisted. You took advantage of us at New Canaan to drive us out. And like the dogs of Caesar you are, you followed us to Zion. And now you stand on holy ground, a temple to God's glory on Earth. The only use for an animal in our temple is sacrifice. Kale Wachene conserva all. You understand me, don't you? Don't you? Out man. Kunaman mad. He kill all white legs. You talk. You stop. Joshua. No one's animals here. We're all human, don't kid yourself. We've all made choices that have led us here. Salt. You have made those choices too. I can't stop what started here. But we can finish it. But not like this. Not with you on your knees. Fight. Defend yourself. We will finish this. You can no ni kumpa me. They are you. Enough. It's the same end he would have met if he had died on his knees. But I suppose this was for the sake of the dead horses and sorrows. Still, thanks to your help and the grace of God, the White Legs won't be troubling Zion anymore. Let's go find Daniel. Tomorrow we'll be here soon enough. And there is much to do. There is much we need to talk of. And so it was that the conflict between the new Canaanites and the White Legs was finally resolved. The courier's involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. Despite their defeat at Three Marys and the death of their war chief, the White Legs were determined to pursue the other new Canaanites. But when they finally tracked down their prey in Colorado, they discovered the tables had been turned. The White Legs who survived the new Canaanites' ambushes were hunted down by dead horses before they could reach the safety of the Great Salt Lake. When word of the White Legs diminished numbers reached the 80s tribe, war was declared. And by year's end, the White Legs had been wiped out. The Sorrows fought beside Joshua Graham and the dead horses, eradicating the threat the White Legs posed to Zion. When the courier and Joshua Graham felled salt upon wounds, their victory was celebrated with a great feast. The Sorrow's transformation from a peaceful, timid tribe into a proud and warlike people broke Daniel's heart. He tried to take solace in the knowledge that they would remain in Zion, but it was a small comfort. The Sorrow's innocence was lost. Having helped eradicate the White Legs from Zion, the Dead Horses returned to Dead Horse Point in triumph. They remained neutral toward the Sorrows, but as years went on, there were periods of competitive friction, even violence between the tribes. The new Canaanites, Daniel especially, intervened regularly as mediators, but found it difficult to reconcile the tribe's conflicts. The defeat of the White Legs and Zion marked a turning point in the fortunes of the Happy Trails Caravan Company. Every two months, the caravan met with the new Canaanites in Zion Valley to trade. Happy Trails soon returned to prosperity. The vigilance of the sorrows and dead horses in defending southwestern Utah, initially startling to Happy Trails caravans, soon proved a blessing. The tribes united against the 80s, driving them back from Highway 50, and thus opening yet another trading route for Happy Trails caravans. Though the courier had stopped Joshua Graham from executing salt upon wounds, the war chief still fell in battle. The White Legs defeated at Three Marys. 
Joshua led the sorrows and dead horses in tending to their comrades and burning the corpses of their foes. He continued to advocate militant opposition to the enemies of New Canaan and showed little quarter to those he fought. And yet he was changed. He no longer reveled in the brutality and cruelty for which he had been known in his former life. His inner demons, if not extinguished, were at the least appeased. For years after the defeat of the White Legs, Daniel did his best to minister to the sorrow's spiritual needs. Try as he might, he could not hold back the tribe's increasing militancy and reverence of Joshua Graham. Demoralized, he returned to his family and Dead Horse Point. His failures haunted him for the rest of his days. And with that, the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland. It came as no surprise to me that Graham was done fighting. He never intended to leave Zion, but he still intended to help. Veronica protested that he had broken our bargain, yet I wasn't about to force an old man to go to war, promises or not. He knew that I wasn't of the bull or the bear, and I think he understands the severity of another battle for Hoover Dam. It was Lanius that I needed to understand. And while Graham knew not much more than the myth of the man, he knew what it meant to be a legate of the Legion, knew how they thought, and with how many tribes had fallen and been absorbed by the Legion since his time, he also knew that Lanius was dangerous, more so than him. He'd seen what I was capable of. In a hand-to-hand -hand fight, he was convinced I could last no more than 10 seconds. But given time and preparation, no man is invincible. Every man bleeds. Lanius can die. But the idea of the Legate, the idea of Lanius, that is something that will continue to live. Sure, his death would be a blow to the Legion, but it might also be what unifies them, pushes them forwards, and causes more bloodshed on that godforsaken dam. Words. Words would be the only way. If I could get an audience, then maybe, maybe I could convince them otherwise. My argument was already strong. I had already turned one of the Legion's encampments to glass. A strong opening argument. But even then, even if I stopped them, even if I convinced them to turn around, to leave Vegas and continue their conquest elsewhere, that's exactly what they will do. They will push to the south, to the north, further east. Caesar's way will spread. And is that the kind of life the wasteland deserves? It was the question that Graham posed to me, a question that gave me pause. Those thoughts from earlier were circling back for so much of my own story. I've been forced into making these choices for others. Caesar is a man of intelligence, reason, so is House, and the bigwigs in the NCR. Be it all of their choices, all of their decisions, they impact me and everyone else. The people in between. The people just trying to survive. Joshua, he had found his people. And I think I had too. Once. But that place is gone now. Blown off the map. I won't let that happen again. The people of Vegas. The Mojave. They are my people. And I will protect them. I will save them. I know now what I must do. It'll be far from easy. This is far from over. War is coming. Then I will keep my people safe.